Hey traders, thank you guys so much for hopping in here today. It's Thursday. We got about a minute until the market opens. Pre-market is just awful. Uh, this has pretty much been the consistent pre-market. Uh, just not a lot of volume activity going on. Um, but I have exciting news. You know, we're reaching 250 subs. That's so exciting. Just a few months ago, I was at what zero. I will be looking for the wash today, just like we did on DXR yesterday. DXR, we had light volume, light activity in pre-market, just like SND, just like SESN. If one of these drops right at the start here, I will be looking to pick this up, you know, if we get a nice, solid red candle wash. I'm not looking to long. There's like hardly any activity on the long side in pre-market. Market is now open. Let's see where S&D goes. 65,000 shares somebody just bought. RSLS, this one is a uh, reverse stock split. It's getting some pretty good activity right now. I don't imagine this one's going to be taken on off, to be honest. NK is actually trying to get this uh, morning spike. We'll see how this one does. 375 is going to be tough resistance. It's actually sitting right around tough resistance. Look at this, guys. The 200-day, see, this is what it's struggling with right now. Around 360, I don't imagine it's going to be able to break that. We'll see. We'll see if it will, but right now, that's going to be really tough resistance. And not only that, but 375. I'm not buying any breakout today because of the pre-market activity. What I will be buying is a wash, is a dip. On some of these stocks, I'm just looking to see if they're going to sell off. NK, you know, this one is breaking up through that 200-day moving average. So that's a great sign, you know, but this is the morning spike. And honestly, even though today is Thursday, it somewhat feels like a Friday. You know, I do think volume could fade off pretty quickly on a day like today. Okay, so now what do we look for? We missed the morning spike on NK. It's less predictable anyways. You know, I don't want to be trading that. Now what are we looking for? This thing is continuing to get the momentum. What we're looking for now is the wash. That's all I'm trading today. I'm not trading on green momentum because I know that's not going to be long-lived when we have a lot less people on the market. And how do I know that? Because of pre-market activity. You know, with a lot of pre-market activity comes a lot of good volume. But with very light pre-market activity, I mean, NK, this is probably, you know, the main stock in pre-market. And look at the activity on it. Not a lot. Not too much here, to be honest, uh, compared to the rest of the market. I mean, this being the, okay, here's, I am going long right here on it. 379. This is the wash I was looking for. We go from $4 to 379, and we have 374 uh, VWAP support. And the little pop, little pop, and I'm out. It's probably going to get even more of a pop, but that's what I'm looking for. On a day like today, I'm just in and out, in and out. Now we're dropping a little bit more here. I can look to even buy this again. Okay, I'm looking to go long again right here at 376. We have 370 as, as the 90 MA support. I will sell if it cracks 370. Okay, just quick in and out, quick in and out. You know, you got to buy in the red candles. You're buying fear, you're selling euphoria. This is just scalping, guys. You know, I took five cents a share on both those trades. I'm up 100 bucks, though. But it's easy money because we're just buying the wash. This is what I was looking for. I'm not buying into strength on a day like today. Uh, I'm buying into weakness. And this is what I was looking for, especially because we were coming up to $4. If you notice these two candles here, we have $4 resistance right here and $4 resistance right here. If it cannot break it, we're going to see a big pullback. And that's what happened. We hit 4 could not break it. Then we're getting that big pullback. Now, I could have held even longer. I'd be up a ton right now, guys. I'd be up a lot right now. But at the same time, I traded what's predictable. I got to stay disciplined like this because this is easy money. If I don't give in to my emotions, which I like to do, uh, and buy up here around $4 thinking, oh, this is going to get the $4 break, and then it doesn't, I'm losing a lot of money. And, you know, That's where I went wrong a lot of times on the live account. I'd be buying, anticipating a $4 break. It doesn't happen, and, and then it drops $0.30. Cents. Wait for this drop. Be patient. And I didn't even feel bad when this went to 393 here because I traded what was predictable. And now we're seeing another huge drop. And at this point, you know, I'm not going to be buying the wash because now we're under VWAP. Now we're coming down to the open of the day. It's just getting a little bit riskier. I like buying the wash after some momentum. And I need to take my profits a lot quicker. I need to take my profits off the table instead of holding and hoping because that's oftentimes what I did on the live account. I need to take what's predictable. It is predictable. 
to get a pop back up after you drop 30 cents. This is exactly what I was looking for. And if you noticed, if you even rewind it, I'm sure when this thing dropped, I just got all over it. You know, I was anticipating that on some other stocks. It didn't happen. NK got the volume. I came over here, and when I saw that huge drop in the one-minute candle, that's telling me buy, buy, buy. You want to buy, and this is what Mafia Mike said too. What you want to do is buy when the tape is red. He said on most of his trades, he's down in profit right when he gets in because it's going down. You want to buy into the fear. Buy into the fear when everyone's panic selling and sell into the euphoria. You don't want to be buying into euphoria. When this thing's gone up from $3.50 to $4.00. You don't want to be buying this. Oh, a four dollar break's going to happen. That's buying into euphoria. You got to do what's counterintuitive. It's honestly against what our emotions tell us to do. They're saying, "Oh, this is going to have the four dollar break. Don't have the fear of missing out. You know, get in, get in, get in." No, you got to be patient. Control your emotions. You be in the driver's seat, not your emotions, not anything else. Wait for the pullback. Right now, I'm practicing being disciplined. I'm practicing walking away from the market when I'm up green. I'm two out of two on my trades. Just a few quick in and out scalps here, and I'm going to be done for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And tomorrow, I'm coming out with the Avery Day Trading promo. So excited for you guys to see that. See you tomorrow.